Playing football is a dream many young boys have growing up. However, reasons beyond our control can sometimes halt those dreams. But that's not stopping Granite City Renegades head coach Brett Weaver from making one dream come true. We have been working very hard with the American Cancer Society for the past four years to find a child who loves the game of football, love to play football, but also has cancer, where it's going to make him hard for him to actually play. Weaver says he has had this idea for many years after watching a college team help out one kid live out their football dreams. I think, I believe it was the University of Nebraska. They brought the same idea. They brought a kid in through Make-A-Wish Foundation that wanted to play, always go to the University of Nebraska and play football for him. And they brought him in and he ran a 60-yard touchdown. And it was just the most touching thing I've ever seen. Matthew Leonard, who is battling brain cancer, has always wanted to play football. And this weekend, his number is finally going to be called. We're going to have a, a mock draft, like an NFL-style draft, where we've got the kid a jersey, and we're going to announce that we're going to have him play in that game, special for a game. And we're going to have him come out for a cancer battle game on May 30th and have him come in and run some plays for us. Leonard will have a chance to practice with the team leading up to the big game on May 30th. Weaver says the game will not only be special for Leonard, but also mark a special moment for the community. It's one of the reasons that we do this. Um, my wife, Danelle, and I, this is one of the reasons we do this, is we want, to make, we want to make something special. I mean, it's not just about playing football. It's about making our community better and making memorable moments. I mean, we want to, we want to make this community better, and if it's just making one step of time, making the life of a child better, that's where we'll start. Reporting from St. Cloud, Alex Wykowski, WJON News.